Daniel's finally arrived at his true level, playing with children's building blocks, you ask. No, unless you're a student of magic, you will not be aware of the fact that the sawing a woman in halves was invented by a chap called Selby. But he wasn't the only trick he invented. It just seems to be the most famous. This is one of his. It's um, uh, a trick with wooden blocks, that's all. And they are solid, and you can stack them up. Where's number two? There's number two. And you put them one on top of the other. Oh, by the way, there's on, the number's only on one side. I should have mentioned that. And you can see them uh, going up in the air. And if you notice, I mean, if you've had years and years of state education, you will have noticed that they count four, three, two, one. <laughs> and for those who can't read, number four is on the top. All right? <laughs> oh, there is something else you use. Use this. This is a tube, all right? Hope you can see through the tube. And if I do this and cover the, the, the blocks over like that, number four, it's a very tight fit. OK? Now, number four was at the top, then number three, then number two, number one. You say the magic word, which we all know, abracadabra, and the blocks leap from the top of the tube turn around and go back into the top. They do it invisibly, of course. <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you. But when you do that, remember, number four was on the top, and now number four is on the bottom. Number three is above it, number two is above that, and number one is the very last one of all in the tube of the state. Now, how does he do it? Some say, why does he do it? Well, what you do? You restack them like this. One, and two, uh, three, four. I only went for two weeks. And you can see, if you cover it over, number four at the top, then number three, slide number two in, and lastly get number one in like that. Say the magic word, you all know. Abracadabra leaps out the tube, turns round, goes back in the top, snap your fingers, and there they are, back where they started in the first place. One, two, three, four. It's good, isn't it? That's the way the trick works. <laughs> Thank you, family. Now, look, this is important. <laughs> These are solid. They fit tightly into there. Remember that. If I drop them in, number one goes to the bottom. Yes? Say yes, Paul. <laughs> number two goes in there. I'll tell you what we'll do with number two. We'll turn it upside down. That'll fool the little beast. <laughs> now, number three, um, we'll put number three in that way around, back to front. And last, but by no means least, number four, we will put it in uppy side down. OK? Right. Now we've got the blocks in there, you snap your fingers, you say the magic word, after it happened, they leap out the top, they turn around, they go back at the tube. Nobody believes you. Except if you lift this, you will find that number one is at the bottom the right way up, two has turned itself over, number three is the right way up, and number four has turned itself over again. Now, how can it happen? Well, I don't really know. All I know is this, that when the blocks are inside there like that, they fit very tightly in the tube. There is no way at all. Can I just pick this up without dropping the blocks for you and just show you? The blocks actually fit, I'm trying to get one out the end, so and it doesn't twist at all. OK? And, and it won't twist at all at the other end, either. If you, think, if you think there's some shenanigans going on, well, you could be right. And why? I'll tell you why. Because if you lift the tube up like this, watch very carefully, because Daniels is cheating. <laughs> this one faces the other way. Number two has gone back to being upside down. Number three is still facing the other way, but number four has put itself the right way up and facing forwards. Now, although that might seem fantastic to you, it's not as fantastic as when you snap your fingers, have a dab, leap out the top, and then you've got number one facing the right way, number two is the other way around, number three is upside down, oh, back to the front, and number four is the right way up again. <laughs> Where it was. That's the way the trick works, OK? That's the way the trick works. Now, we put number four in first this time, and next we put number three in, because that's what I do. Number two is, um, there it is, a lot of people think it wasn't really there. And number one, being the last one, goes in. Now, remember, there's no possible way at all the blocks can turn over or turn round inside the tube. Remember, number four should now be at this end, and we can check that. Yes, we can check that. I hope we can check that. Yep, yeah. let's have a look. Come on out. There it is. It's such a tight fit. Yes, number four is at the top. Now, having got number four all the way to the top like that, watch carefully, four, three, two, one. But now, they leap out the top and leap back individually, so that when you take the tube off, all the blocks are now absolutely upside down. 